All right, guys, we're back with part two of What a Fish Knows for our book club. And this one is all about what a fish perceives. However, this chapter is so packed full of studies and research that we're only going to cover what fish smell, taste, and hear today because there's way, way too much to cover. So one of the cool studies that they did actually showed that fish in lakes and ponds might use the reflection at the top of the water. So they look up to the top of the water, see that reflection to identify where predators and prey are actually hiding, which is really cool. When I used to work with lions, the lions did that. We presented them in a huge acrylic glass bubble um, and they would use the reflections to find each other or us when they were playing, which was really, really neat to see. Uh, another one was the that fish can actually distinguish between blues and classical music and identify correctly. Um, one was they trained the fish to tap an image, um, a correct image, to identify different uh, species in pictures. And they were able to tap the correct picture to identify their species because they were recognizing subtle patterns in their face. Um, that were only visible on like a UV spectrum. So they're seeing things we can't even see unless it's illuminated with UV. That's really crazy. Um, mind puzzles that humans do. Um, goldfish can actually complete those pictures. So if you've ever seen like the partial circles and then the blank spot in the middle that looks like a triangle, they can actually identify the triangle and match that. Uh, crazy. So they see, th see things better or at least similar to how we do. Um, when they're stressed, they release a pheromone into the water that warns other fish like, hey, there's a predator in the water, run away. Um, and they can identify that pheromone from their own species. They can't identify the pheromone and the smell of the predator but they can identify that stressed out pheromone that fish put off. And then the funniest one was um, about herring and how they communicate using gas bubbles released from you know where. And the scientists actually labeled these fast repetitive ticks or FRTs. So herring farts. I don't know guys, but that's a pretty good place to stop, I think. Uh, we're going to get more into part two of what a fish knows and learn all, of, all about perception. Next time we're going to talk about whether or not fish can feel pain, uh, which is a very interesting and kind of controversial topic. So uh, stay tuned and we'll talk about that. I hope you're enjoying book club. If you haven't got the book, I hope you're at least enjoying the facts that we present here. Have a great day.